because even though he laughs, it's building up on the inside of him. And if he's not a violent man, if he's not, see, that's why a lot of men become violent because they say, well, you're going to respect me. I'm going to make you respect me. Well, you can't make a grown person do nothing. You understand? All you can do is make a patient. If, if uh, he's not a violent person, what happens is he'll shut himself up. He won't open up to you. He won't, he'll, we call it a closed spirit. He'll stop sharing with you because he feels you don't respect him. You're not going to respect what he says. Mm -hmm. So you have to be respectful to one another. That's very important in a relationship. Okay. You must respect one another. Mm -hmm. All right? <coughs> Submission is rarely a problem in homes where both the husband and the wife have a strong relationship with God. When both the husband and wife are individually, individually have a strong relationship with God, submission is very rarely a problem because you are submitted to God individually, mm -hmm. then you can submit to God together. Mm -hmm. And I shared before, we are not halves, you know, Flo is not my other half or my better half. We are whole in Christ. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a, a, a cliche that, that the Christian community has picked up. But we're not half. That means, because see, what a half means is that I need somebody to make up the other half that I don't have. And th that way you don't have nobody whole. Everybody got junk and baggage and all this. And what happens is that baggage that you have, now it starts to interfere in the relationship that you have. Now, some people bring uh, baggage from the other relationship into the one you got now. That's one of the worst things you can do because now you start comparing the one you have now with the one you had before. Anything similar to actions you automatically, rather negative or positive, you automatically start comparing. See, we're whole. You got to realize you're whole first. If you're not whole, you need to come to a place and recognize that you are whole. You are whole, but if you don't know it, you need to come to a place where you recognize that you are whole. I think it's a... Uh, Colossians chapter 2, I think it's verse 10, says that we are complete in Christ. Okay, that word complete doesn't, doesn't mean that you're perfect as far as you don't make mistakes. But in Christ, you're perfect. Your spirit man is perfect. You're whole in Christ. All right, so when you come together with another person, you're two whole people coming together in Christ. Of course, there are things that you have to work out. Okay, but don't see yourself as a half. I, because what you're going to be looking for now is somebody to make up that which you are not, or you think you are not. But we're whole, two whole people coming together. Mm -hmm. Are y'all all right with that? Yeah. Submission is also rarely a problem where both the husband and the wife are concerned for the happiness of each other. Mm -hmm. If you want your spouse to be happy, if you want your spouse to have a smile on their face, well then, submission, you su submitting to their position wouldn't be a problem. Because your objective is to make them happy. But so you've got to be operating in God's kind of love. Right. It's not the world's love. See, it's the difference between the world's love and God's love. The world's love is lust. Yeah. And I don't mean just lust after somebody. I mean selfishness. Mm -hmm. That's what the world says. See, and the world says... I have to look out for number one first. Mm -hmm. The first law of nature the world says is self-preservation. Mm -hmm. That's what the world says. Mm -hmm. But God flipped the script. Mm -hmm. God says that we're to love others above ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. See, George Meyer calls it an upside-down kingdom. And the reason why she says that is because the kingdom of God operates differently than the world. The world. Right. But we've been trained from the world system and now we get, in, get, get into the kingdom of God and we jump right into relationships where a lot of times we need to just wait until we get developed or mature in the kingdom of God and understand more things in the kingdom of God. Then we can be better in our relationship. But we all made mistakes. But like I said, before Flo and I got married, we, we cohabited or we shacked up. Okay? So people like to throw that in your face when you tell them that's not good to do. Well, you did so, suppose I robbed a bank. Would you go out there and rob a bank just because I did it? You know what I mean? Right. My doing it is, 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 is why I'm telling you not to do it. Right. Because I've already experienced it and I know that it's not the way to go. That's, mm -hmm. right. you know? That's 
what a lot of times that's why children rebel against parents is because parents know the outcome of where the child is going but the child can't see that what they see is oh she don't or he don't want me to have no fun they trying to stop me no they're trying to stop me from getting in trouble because they done been where you've been mm -hmm. you know and and another misconception with a lot of people especially young folks they think because you are a christian that you are naive see i was a sinner before i was a christian so there's a lot of games that people try to run and children especially i've been there been there mm -hmm. you know when they think they outsmart in you but when you get up in age and, and, if, and if you've been in the world you've know, been through all that that ain't funny because i stay up in age now actually no. I'm a young man. <laughs> no. I'm just teasing with you. Know what I'm saying? So yeah. we have to we have to view God the same way. Mm -hmm. Everything that God tells us to do is not to hinder us. Right. It's not to stop us. So Jesus, see, God wants you to have fun. Mm -hmm. Jesus says that I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The Amplified Bible says that you may enjoy life. So he wants us to have fun. One of the products of love is what? Joy. Mm -hmm. Joy. It says the fruit of the Spirit is love. What's the next product of that? Joy. Joy. Mm -hmm. So he, we're to be joyful. Mm -hmm. Okay? So God knows the things that eventually would hinder that joy. Mm -hmm. So he set rules and guidelines, even in relationships, for us so that we can have Joy. He's not trying to hurt us. He's trying to help us. His rules are not to stop us. They're to help us to succeed. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Are, are, are y'all all right with that? Mm -hmm. Next week we'll go further. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity again to study your word. Thank you that your word is making a mark in our lives that cannot be erased. We thank you that you, re that you have revealed through your word thank you, how we're to have successful relationships. And we are determined to do it your way. We are determined to do your will. Mm -hmm. And we just thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.